Good morning, SJB. I'm Tiana. And I'm Amanda. And you're watching SJB TV. Any student or staff member who would like to participate in this year's annual life chain can get information and a permission form from Mrs. Paulchuk in Portable 8. The chain will take place the afternoon of Sunday, October 5th, and you will be eligible for four Christian service hours. Forms must be returned by Wednesday, October 1st. Attention prefects, if you miss today's meeting, please attend tonight's meeting in the library at 2.50 or see Mrs. Wilson in room 125. Attention all second semester CLIP students. There will be a very important meeting immediately after school on Tuesday, September 30th in room 112. If you are already registered for CLIP or if you are interested in taking CLIP in second semester or having exciting experience like a house building mission trip to the Dominican Republic, experiences like a house and students' exchanges with other schools in Canada while earning your Religion, English, World Issues, and IDP credits, come to the meeting to find out more. The CLIP team looks forward to seeing you on Tuesday in Room 112. Congrats to the senior boys volleyball team who won against Cardinal Newman in last night's season game. The win, coupled with a cathedral loss last night, moved the Braves into sole possession of first place with a 4-0 and zero record. The juniors match the seniors, winning their matchup in three straight sets or taking over sole possession of first place as well. Great job by both teams, who will continue their road trip with a game at STM this upcoming Tuesday. Come on out and show your support. Juniors, a reminder that Monday's practice is cancelled. Also, if you would like to purchase a team warm-up, shirt or jacket, Please see Mr. Hargot sometime before dismissal today. Hey Braves, it's Reach for the Top Time. The school academic challenge team is starting up again and looking forward to an exciting 2014 and 2015 season. Team question and answer tournaments at both the senior and intermediate levels are held throughout the school year. There will be an information meeting after school on Monday, September 29th in room 122. All members of last year's team are asked to attend, and a special invitation goes out to any students interested in taking part in this fun and challenging school activity. We especially encourage students in grades 9 and 10 to come out and experience Breach for the Top. Braves, Wednesday was a truly epic day for SJB history. Over 600 students came out to participate in our 10th annual Terry Fox 5K Run or Walk. The weather couldn't have been any greater, and the spirit of the students couldn't have been any brighter. Our school community raised a staggering 11000 for the Terry Fox Foundation this week. It's tough to even come up with the right words to describe how phenomenal that is. Yet again, SJB has demonstrated that the students and staff of this school commit to fulfilling Terry's dream of having a world without no cancer. There might be some parts of the physical building that may, we may want to change, but the people and the spirit in this school make it one of the greatest in the world. Thanks again, Braves. You really are the best. Be on the lookout for the big fake check in November. The top fundraisers and top fundraising class will be announced next week, so stay tuned. SJB TV was there as well, so please enjoy this special report. On Wednesday morning, SJB took part once again in our annual Terry Vox charity run. Over 600 students raised 20 or more dollars and Mother Nature came through with a beautiful day. Students completed a 5 kilometer walk and run and raised over $11,000. I raised $20. And what do you think of the run? I think it's uh, very charitable and fun to do, especially if uh, you're raising money for people who have cancer. 
Mr. Daly promised that he would participate in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge if the school raised 8000 So look forward to seeing your principal shivering on SJB TV soon. And who are you running for? Uh, my Aunt Pat. I'm running for Esther. I'm running for my grandmother who died three years ago. I'm running for uh, Stephanie Dorman's mom because she had breast cancer. I'm running in memory of my uh, Nana who died of cancer. The school will present a check to the Terry Fox Foundation in the weeks to come. Thanks to all staff and students who participated and made it such a successful day. I think it's really cool that everyone's out here supporting this walk. And it's like important to find a cure. For SJB TV, I'm Nick Niori. Attention to all students looking to bring an out-of-school guest for prom. Prom is on October 17th and guest forms can be released and are available in the main office. Get your guest forms for prom completed as soon as possible in order to ensure an efficient process. Guest forms are due on Wednesday, October 1st. Please see a member of Student Council if you have any questions. Attention Braves! Pilgrimage 2014 is here. Please pick up forms in the cafeteria during the first half of third and fourth lunch period. You can also pick up the form in Mr. Block's office. The permission form can be picked up only in the CAF or in his office. Once you return the form with your parent's signature, you will be given a pledge seat. So remember, first permission form, then the pledge sheet. Don't delay, Braves, for participating in the walk and raising a minimum of $25 you will be awarded with 10 Christian service hours. The pilgrimage is a walk that is more than just covering distance. It's a walk that is for a purpose, and the purpose is to help raise funds for projects in developing countries, but it's also a walk within a spiritual context. Good morning. I look forward to doing these announcements uh, periodically during the week to, because I get to tell uh, this community what a fabulous job you've been doing doing fundraising. We've only had two collection days so far, and already you've brought in over $8,000. Our winner of the movie pass last day was Myrna Zachary from Mr. Morrison's room. Monday's a collection day again, but I just want to encourage you, before we can have a good collection day on Monday, we have to get out and do our best to sell this weekend. Now, there's an important event coming up that may just help you. Shut up. That's right, hockey, uh, Halloween is just around the corner. You can say to your prospective clients that Halloween's coming, and when you show them that box, they're going to think, there's no way I'm giving away a $3 box of chocolates to the kids. So what you tell them is, no, that chocolate's for you to eat while you're giving away that Walmart slop to the unsuspecting children. It's a good way to promote our chocolate and uh, promote our sales and do a fabulous job letting people know that we do sell the very best chocolate that there is out there Walmart notwithstanding. So have a great weekend, a great weekend selling, and let's set a record on Monday for our returns. The winner on Monday of the draw uh, will get a, get a gift certificate for cinema and popcorn and drinks for, yes, for that certificate. That's it. Thank you very much, and back to our anchors. Today's quote of the day comes from philosopher Aristotle, who said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Have a blessed day, Braves. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier.